my bag that just got peed on. I'm sorry that I peed on it. You know. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> August 4th to August 7th, Indianapolis, Indiana to Glacier, Montana. Here we go. So getting three dirt bikes out to Glacier, Montana is simple, right? Throw the three bikes into the back of a truck and go. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. And this is what we ended up doing. Thad brought his truck with a camper and a trailer with his dirt bike since he was going to stay in Colorado for an extra week after we were done with the trip. Ben brought his truck which carried both our bikes in the back. Since you can never be too careful, we decided to dedicate Ben's truck as a follow vehicle just in case something went terribly wrong. We needed someone to drive the follow vehicle while we were on our dirt bikes, so Beth and her mom Robin decided to come along, which meant Coda and Rocky could come too. Since Thad and I's trucks were already full, we needed to bring another vehicle to get everyone out to Montana. So we had... The Subaru. <laughs> So here we were trying to take as little as possible. On the flip side, they were trying to take as much as possible. <laughs> Plus with the Subaru, you're required to bring a whole bin full of Birkenstocks. So we left Indy. Five people, three dirt bikes, three vehicles, two dogs, and a case full of Birkenstocks. Off to Colorado. Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, Saturday, August 5th, AKA travel day number two. And we are in Texaco, I think, Kansas. At the rest stop where we slept last night. There we are. Got Sad's truck. Got Ben's truck. You got my truck. There's Robin and Rocky. Ben's getting out. There's my real car. It's almost the same color as my truck. It's already wet, buddy. Go for it. What a wonderful So this is the part of the trip where I'm at an airport to get on the budget uh, bus to get to the rental van. So a little bit of planes, trains, and automobiles and motorcycles and trucks. Okay, I don't think we did a good job explaining this. So I'm going to use some paper cutouts to make sense of it all. We took three vehicles with all of our stuff to Colorado. The Subaru, the Tacoma, and Thad's truck with his camper on top. Once we got to Colorado, Andrew went and picked up a rental van for us to take the rest of the way to Glacier, Montana, so we could leave Thad's truck and the Subaru at a friend's. The reason we chose to leave the vehicles in Colorado was because that's where our journey across the northern half of the Continental Divide would end, and Thad planned on staying in that area for an extra week after the trip anyways. Renting a van was the best way we could get everything out to Glacier and be left with just the truck as a follow vehicle. Does that make some sort of sense now? Anyways, back to us reorganizing our gear before we left Colorado. All packed up, right Rock? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have uh, military man's stuff for his military bike and his military cool stuff. Two AKs, rocket launcher, grenade pack. <laughs> My bag that just got peed on. That's yeah. what this stuff is. It was smart to bring the pee spray. I'm sorry that I peed on it. They told us that it's the best way to keep away, or the bears, you know, yeah. you pee on all your stuff, and then they're like, nope. 
already taken. Boots for jumping off really big cliffs. Girly day pack. Dog matches backpack. Two helmets and then we're gonna bring the grill. There's another dog. Coda. So we left Colorado with Thad, Rocky, and I hauling all three of the dirt bikes in the back of my truck, while everyone and everything else was crammed into the rental van. Now, driving to Montana is long and flat and boring. Pretty boring. So there's not that much to show. Hello, today is Sunday, August 6th, 5th, 6th, I think. Uh, anyway, it's travel day three or probably two and a half. We stayed at this Budget Inn Express last night. Uh, drove as far as we could till like 12.30 at night. Long day yesterday. And we all crammed into this one hotel room with two beds and two dogs. Uh, but we're riding dirty now in the uh, Chrysler Pacifica. We're able to pack all of everything into this car, get rid of the trailer and the truck. Uh, you can see all of our equipment in here. And uh, we got the bikes loaded on the hood here. You can see them. And a bunch of other stuff on top. So this thing's pretty spacious. How are you feeling? Pretty tired. <laughs> Still? <laughs> nice and soggy. Actually, we're not so soggy, but the rest of the gear is. You're going to space? Yeah, it was just something to hold in, express. That's true. Look, what? We like we had to poop outside, dude. There are no toilets in there? there what are you going to say about this on Yelp? It was, it was the shit. <laughs> When we hit Glacier, the scenery immediately changed. Too bad we got there when all the campsites were gone. I'm not my boiling water. <laughs> 